Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to show more content without actually clicking to go to other pages on your website to spice things up for whatever project you're working on. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create we're going to create something that looks like this. And then when you come over, you click on this read more, it's going to show you more content. And then when you click on read less, it's going to show you less content. And it works well on all containers here and mind you it is responsive on all devices and work perfectly even on mobile so without further delay let's dive in and get started in our elemental editing screen the first thing we're going to do here is just going to come over here click on this plus icon here select the flexbox container and then we select the structure here then i'm going to come over here to get we have the minimal i change the unit from pixel to vh and give it a value of 100 then I'll come over here, justify content to the center. Then I'll align item to the center as well. Now for the gaps, I'm going to come over here, link it, and then give it a value of 20 pixels. Okay, so now I have, none, have a gap of 20 pixels between each container. Okay, so now for this container here, I'm just going to come over here, rename this container, and I'll call it our service, service card. Okay, then for this container here, I'll call it our parents. Okay, then I'll come over here to this other container, and then call it the same thing service card now for this service card i'm just going to come over here to the first card and change the uniform percentage to pixel and give it a value of 300 and then for the second card i'll do the same change the uniform percentage to pixel for the width and then i'll give it a value of 300 okay so now i'm just going to duplicate this card two more times so we now have four cards. Now out of these four cards, I'm going to select one of the cards and then I'll work with it. So we'll select this card here. Now I'm going to come over here to the style option. Now for the background type, I'm going to set the background type to classic and then change the background color to black. Okay. Then I'll come over here to the border and give it a border radius of 20 pixels. All right. Then I'll go over to the layout and then for the minimal height, I'm going to give it a value of 400 pixels. Okay. Then I'll head over to the advanced settings. Now for the padding, I'm going to unlink it. For the top, I'll give it a value of 40 pixel. To the right, 30 pixel. To the bottom, 40 pixel. And then to the left, 30 pixel as well. Now I'm going to click on this plus icon here. Then I'm going to drag our icon widget here. Now for the icon widget, we're going to select an icon. Let's select the mobile icon. And then we're going to come over for the view. We're going to set the view to stack. Now I'm going to style this a little bit, so I'll just come over here for the secondary color, I'm going to set it to red, okay, and then for the primary color, I'll set it to red as well, but this time around, I'm going to make it transparent, so I'll just try it here, okay, so now I'm just going to come over for the size, I'll set the size to 40 pixel, then align the icon to the left, okay. So now I'll go back to our widget area, drag a heading widget and drop it right below the icon widget. Now for the text here, we're going to call it uh, development. Okay, then I'm going to go to the style option and tweak it a little bit, align it to the left for the color, set the color to white. And then for the font size, just come over here and then change the uniform pixel to REM and give it a value of 1.3 REM. And then for the width, set the width to 600 bold. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here to a widget area and then drag the text editor right below it. Now for this text here, we're just going to reduce the length. Okay, then we'll come over to the style, change the color to white. Then I'm going to go to the advanced settings. Now for the margin, I'm going to come over here to the bottom. I'm going to give it a margin of minus 10 pixel. Okay, so now that I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll come over to a widget area and then drag the container right below this text widget here okay so now for this container here we're going to call this container our details area so now this is where you're going to add whatever details you want more details you want your users to see when they click on your read more or read less button okay so now here we'll come over to our widget area and then we're going to drag the text editor and drop it here okay then we'll go to the style option change the color to white this time around, we'll be reducing the length. We're just going to reduce the gap between this up text and this second text here. So we're going to come over to this details container here and go to the advanced settings. Then for the margin, we're going to unlink this to the top. We're going to give it a value of minus 10. Uh, there's the gap, so we we'll can still increase it to minus 20. 
okay minus 20 looks great okay so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do here we're going to click on this service card here and then we'll head over to our widget area and then click on the button widget okay now what this does is that instead of in adding the button widget within the details area container it now added within the service card which is where we want it to be so for the button text we're going to change the text to read more and then come over here to where we we'll have the icons and then we're going to add an icon arrow so we're going to select arrow facing down okay and then we're going to come over to the style option now for the button background we're going to set the background color to transparent and then for the button text we're going to set the text to red okay then we're going to come down to where we have the party and we're going to unlink this okay so we now have this world please next thing we we'll do here is we're just going to duplicate this button here and then for the button text we're going to change it from read more to read less okay and then we're going to come over here to where we'll have the icon and then we're going to change the icon to arrow facing up okay so now that we've done that the next thing is we're just going to come over here and then we're going to add our various css classes to the various container our widget so that our effect can take place instantly we will add our code so now i'm going to head over to my vs code editor here these are the various classes we'll be using so i'm just going to copy the class one after the other not to worry about this code and what you see here it's going to be made available for free on the comment section of this video okay so i'm just going to copy this out come over here and then go to where we have our service card now you can see we have sarah over about three more service cards, but this is the only service card that has details in it so we're going to use it come over to the advanced settings and where we have the class css classes we're going to add this service card here and then we're going to come over to the details area then we'll go back here to our code editor copy the css class details area then we'll come back here go to the advanced settings come down to where we have the css class and add this there for the details area. then for the button read more we're going to go back here copy this class read more and then we're going to paste it here go to the advanced settings and then add it to the css class read more now for the read less button we're going to come over here and then copy this read less class and then go back here and then go to the advanced settings and we're going to paste the class here okay so finally we now have the content hide class now this class here we're just going to come over here and for this read less button we're going to give one space and then add the content height class and then we're going to go to the details area and then come down to where we have the css class and then we're going to give a space again and then add this still this content height class as well okay so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do here is i'm just going to come over here and i'll delete this service card here and delete this one here because they are empty delete this one as well because it is empty then i'm going to duplicate this duplicate it again and duplicate it again so we now have four services so now for the first one i'm just going to pause this video while i change all the details Okay, so I've successfully changed the details. You can see we have UI, UX design, graphics design, app development, and web development. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to let me turn on our navigator. Then I'm going to come over here to our widget area and search for the HTML widget. And then I'm going to drag it and drop it here. Okay, so now I'm going to head over to my code editor. Then I'm going to copy out this code. Not to worry, this code will be made available for you on the comment section. So you just need to copy it and use it for free. Okay, so I'm just going to come over here and then I'm going to paste it. Okay, so now you can see now that there is gap at the top and gap here, which is not cool. So to fix this, we're just going to come over here to the various service cards. Let's toggle this. 
And then let's stop with this. Now we'll come over to the service card container, go to the layout. And then where we have this minimal height, we're just going to remove, set it to zero. Come over to the next card. We have the minimal height set it to zero. And then this one here, set it to zero as well. And finally, we're going to set this one here to zero as well. So we'll now have them well. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is just going to publish this and then we're going to see how if it takes place on our live website. So I'm going to click on this preview and then we're going to say this is it. So we'll click on this read more and I'll have this and then we'll click on read less. Goes work. Read more, you have this. Read less, goes work. Read more, you have this. Read less, you go work. And mind you, it is responsive on all devices. So we can check that out here by coming over here to a uh, tablet. It doesn't look great on tablet. All you just need to do is come over to the parent container here, come down to where you have the wrap, and then you're going to click on the wrap and you know how it works, please. Still on the parent container here, you go to the advanced settings and then you give it a padding of 100 all around, and then unlink this to the left to give it a value of 20 pixel to the right 20 pixel. Okay, so now we'll check it on mobile as well. It looks great on mobile, as you can see. Okay, so we're going to have this working well for us. So I'll just click on publish. And our effect is working perfectly. Uh, we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you've learned something new. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. But until then, see you on our next video. And also remember to drop your comments wherever you're confused or have any question. And I'll do where to attend to as much as I can. For now, bye bye.